You guys know the drill. Fill your cup up with whatever you're drinking and join me on this next video. Welcome back to the shop. We've got some projects that are going on here. Uh, a couple of things that, well, one of the main things that I'm trying to do right now is to remodel, do a little bit of remodeling in our dining room. We're putting in some cabinets and I needed to get some a countertop put in. Uh, you can see here where the cabinet is and then we're gonna put a couple of shelves in. So this last week I went over to a sawmill that's about a half a mile for half an hour from where we live here. And I went to the sawmill and had these three inch um, hick, uh, ash uh, planks that I had and bought those from a friend and wanted those cut in half to make some boards and then have them plain so that I could put them in here on these cabinets. And while I was there, I saw a barrel over in the corner and they had some of these bands from the sawmill. It was a wood miser sawmill. These three foot long bands that they would just snap to snap apart and throw in there to throw away. You could see where some of the teeth are rounded over. And so I'm gonna bring you down here on the bench and show you what we did with it. So I took and cut a piece like this um, out of one of those sections. I bought three of those three foot sections. They only charged me like a dollar for them a piece. Got these bands and I started playing around with it last week since I was busy with work and with this project. I just didn't have time to chase the camera around so I didn't film it all. But I had about an hour on one day and an hour on the next day. So I just played around without filming it and knock this thing out so made the blade shaped it out nicely took and put a nice little grind on the edge there then i made the wood handles drilled the holes and epoxied it all together on that one day and then the next day after that epoxy had all um, dried i was able to shape the handle uh, sand it down nice and smooth and I just was really happy with the way it came out So let's take it over the kitchen and try it out and put it through its paces That was delicious and the knife 
really worked well too. Well, that was a lot of fun. Just um, for everybody's information, this is not stainless steel. It will tarnish, it will oxidize over time. So you gotta keep it dry. You saw me in the video washing it with really hot water and cleaning it, keeping it clean. I soaked this, this is black walnut on the handle. I soaked it in um, mineral grade or food grade mineral oil, which is something that you can put on the blade about once a week, keeping it washed and cleaned. It should hold up really well. Taking it and putting it on a steel every time you use it will keep that edge refined really, really nice. And it should work and last for a good long time. So we are able to take it from this to this. One of these days I will do a video on how I actually, the whole process of making one of these and taking it from the raw saw blade to a refined little tool that you can use. I don't know how well this would work out in the field. Um, I am going to make a little protective sheath for it so that you can keep it uh, protected, uh, throw it in a pack or something like that. But for the most part, I'm considering this more of a food prep type tool. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me on this. It was a lot of fun to do this little project and share it with you. Hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day. God bless. Thank you.